Well, hey everybody, it's Will, and I'm here at our January 24th and 25th hybrid estate sale to give you a, a video walkthrough of everything that's going to be in this sale that's coming up shortly. So uh, one a couple of important things about the sale. First of all, it's in a relatively new subdivision, and the folks here only had one estate sale, and it wasn't by us, so their experience with how it was run in the neighborhood was not so great. Therefore, they don't want to have another one like that. So they uh, basically gave us the requirement we have to run this sale by appointment. So you'll need an appointment to attend. It's very easy to get an appointment. Sunday the 19th, you'll be able to um, uh, find the appointment scheduler on our website. It's easy. Just click the calendar, pick a date, pick a time, and uh, you can get into the house uh, for the sale that way. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Sunday the 19th, the schedule will come up. And meanwhile, second important thing is this is a hybrid sale like we often do, which means that there are items that you'll see that we're selling uh, in our online auction format. Now, because it's an appointment sale, we wanted to make it as convenient as possible for people to come in and buy what they want. And so everything that's in the online auction, except a few of the coins, I think, have a buy now price. So even though it's online, you can, you can bid for it or you, if you just want to pay the price, you can go ahead and buy it like that and then pick it up when you come. Otherwise, you can come to the house and everything else that you'll see has got a sticker price on it. And uh, that's the you got to come to the house to buy those items. So that's why it's a hybrid sale. It has online auction items and a tag sale items all in the same place at the same time. So as I, as I go through, this view that I started with is really one of the, the highlight rooms of the sale. Uh, this is an old Knoxville family. Those of you who are new, any Episcopal priests would recognize the name of the family. I'm not going to tell that publicly, but it will be available here if you come. But this is uh, some old family heirlooms passed down here and some really, really some fine pieces. So this one, the china cabinet here with these full columns carved on the front and the wooden muntins on the front, uh, beautiful burl wood. That's spectacular. It has a, it's almost a twin piece, but it's a, it's not exactly the same. You can see the, the columns are different. The claws are different, but wow, they go pretty well together. And that's pretty spectacular buffet. Uh, with a step back on it and uh, again yeah, the, the wood is gorgeous and then the the third probably oldest uh, item here would be the uh, this, this corner cabinet here and the the pediment on top of that is is hand saw and you can tell by looking at it and that's that's a pretty cool old piece uh, and then uh, also in the cool realm is this gigantic dining table and uh, that's solid oak and it's got six leaves so when you take all the leaves out of this this gigantic table is a round table about 48 inches across but it's super versatile any size room you've got and oddly enough i've never seen this the leaves are not all the same width so there's like 12 and 13 and 14 inch leaves so uh, that's a pretty awesome uh, set and then they use these with it i'm selling them separate because the style is so totally different but there's a, a set of uh two four six eight of these queen Anne cherry um, uh, dining tables and we'll see some other queen Anne cherry as we go through now they did dine a lot they did entertain a lot and so you've got a lot of nice beautiful formal linens in here and you can see inside the china or this or the corner cupboard there's some very nice crystal and there's a beautiful set of china i'll show you here in a second but more crystal inside this one crystal serving pieces here and there's some there's some quality crystal i got one of the crystal pieces in the auction the rest of it is here in the tag sale there's the auction one this oval uh, piece is gorgeous then look at this, a set of Limoges dishes. You've got antique flow blue. You've got Bavarian china and uh, more Limoges. And then this is the set of Lennox, which is very pretty with the silver and the gray. All right, I was mentioning the Queen Anne. Let me just swing by here and say, first, there's a tea cart in this Empire chair. There's some cool artwork there on it. Check the, the um, online auction for the photos of that. Another nice chair, very clean, good condition couch. Sorry, got my supplies on it there. And a neat little uh, uh, sewn artwork here, Chinese piece. And then again, more of the nice table linens and antique rocker, antique chair The in the Miller's hat. I love the Miller's Knoxville hat. That's a very cool old piece. It's got the fur hat in there. Queen Anne Cherry, again, I mentioned we would have more. There's that piece. This is Queen Anne Cherry on the console table. Going into the master bedroom, once again, all cherry. A big king-size bed, beautiful pediment. Uh, it's got a, a lot of pretty burl and inlay on it. So if I can zoom in and get you that look at that, you can see this inlay here. So this this chest with mirror has exactly the same uh, pediment as the bed does. 
So that's a matching set. And then you've got the, the two nightstands. Of course, we've got lamps and stuff in the tag sale. Nice piece of artwork there. Another nightstand and the matching wardrobe. So there's a great mix for you of, uh, of quality cherry furniture. And again, this uh, is live on the internet now. So if nobody's done it yet, you can snap these up on the buy now prices. Oh, before I go out the door, really old quilts. Now they had some paperwork with the quilts. They actually think these quilts date back to the 1800s. I am not as expert enough to know, but if they're that old, they're the best condition quilts from that era that we've ever had. Oh, rug on the floor also for sale. I'll show you that before I streak on through the room here. Going back into this um, to this uh, living room. Now, one of the cool things about this, uh, uh, the husband was a priest, as I said, and his library is great. There's some very cool books in here. There's, we got just a few of the really, really cool ones in the online auction. But over here, there's a lot of history. There's definitely lots of religion. And you'll find um, a good set of cookbooks here. I've never see, had this one before, the Condé Nast sets. So that's that's kind of cool. There's a bunch of plant stands here. My jacket's not for sale, sorry. Uh, got a Christmas tree. It just, uh, yeah, won't go into that. But it's here. It's for sale. And I got a pair of these um, nice upholstered chairs, the rug I'm standing on for sale. And then, once again, more books and uh, some very interesting jewelry and little tchotchkes over there and a bucket full of Hot Wheels down on the floor. A good heavy file cabinet. We'll see the office. There's more, uh, more office-y kind of supplies here. This is a neat desk. It's kind of the type of desk you would normally see made out of particle board, but I really think it's solid wood. And the whole thing takes apart. So you can see the shelves there. They just lift out and, uh, and you can collapse this thing down to, to boards and put it back up together. So that's, that's a neat piece. Um, set of speakers there. The kind of fun artwork. Looking out the window artwork. Got the clown. Another antique piece. A couple more antiques we'll, we'll see here in a second. This is the music cabinet. And then the antique doll bed. The not so antique uh, faux power place. But this is another great antique. With the marble top and all the beautiful carving. That's a great sideboard, uh, and uh, I just love the the detail carving on this is fine. I mean, it just what you what you get that comes out of Indonesia and other countries today is not as well made as this piece. That's a that's a fine fine piece, and this rug I'm standing on also for sale, as well as its little brother or sister twin over there, and then all the electronics and all the um, collectibles over here, including this nice big cherry entertainment center and. Um, yeah, that's a nice set. And then you can see there's a whole ton of CDs there as well. All right, cruising on through. We've got uh, one of the specialty items I'll show you as we take a look down this hallway. Then we emptied this room, but we just didn't have another place to put this up. This is a, a tapestry. We call it a quilt, I think, in the auction listing. But I'll zoom, just cro cruise right up to it here. Look at this. This is all from uh, Knights Templar meetings mostly 1892. So what, what we understand is, here's 1889, even older. So, um, uh, and I think it was 1899. But uh, it would be kind of like if, if you went to these meetings, your chapter would have some of these with them and you'd swap, like people swap Olympic pins or something nowadays. And so there's uh, just dozens and dozens on here. Uh, and they're also got some very cool art. So uh, that's, yeah, that's one of my favorite pieces. We've also, in this room, we've got a little mirror. And I've got a shark vacuum in the online auction. And then the washer dryer stay with the house. But we do have just like the little room full of miscellany here, including all these adorable um, uh, baptismal dresses. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, the downstairs office has got, again, lots of lots of interesting miscellany. But one of the one of the definitely interesting features about this sale that you don't see just a collection exactly like this of artwork. There's all these prints and photographs and lithographs of churches. And uh, they're small. We price them, you know, just 5 to $15 a piece. But um, some of them probably worth a lot more than that. But you've got just a really, really fun mix. Speaking as I'm going to just give you a look at these, uh, speaking of things that are worth a lot more, in the online auction, I'm not going to have a chance to show it to you here, there is a bunch of jewelry and coins. And the coins in particular, um, he uh, bought a bunch of slabbed and graded Morgans and silver bullion from different places with a bunch of them from Canada. So you're going to have a lot of good coins in the online auction. So check that out. And in here, uh, this is an older model, but a fully working lift chair with a kind of a fun upholstery. And then I've got a little antique uh, knee hole desk there and then the Christmas there's just a little bit of Christmas here but one of my favorite things he's got this whole like a um, almost a dozen I think of those um, 
stocking hangers that you put up on your mantles. That's kind of cool. Now, last spot, if I run upstairs, I've been almost out of breath from blabbing, but hopefully I can get up here and still be able to speak. Upstairs office, this was uh, our, our priest friend's, um, uh, his own space. And so we've got the interpreter's Bible, 12 volume set with the dictionary. That's in the online auction. And then a bunch more cool books uh, on and just really a, a menagerie of of uh, subjects as if you were, uh, you know, imagine if you pastorally counsel people, you got to know a lot about a lot of things. So that, that's a very interesting library. And again, uh, office material. This looks like a desk, but it's actually a bunch of different components with a board thrown up on the top. So uh, you can buy any of the things underneath, file cabinet or this little printer cart or the chair there, or there's even on this end, you've just got a couple of crates sitting there. So I also got around the house, you'll see different lamps. There's a whole host of a little electronics down here. All good office supplies, reams of paper new, more files, office chair. And then this is kind of a fun lot over here. You've got all these slides and eight millimeter um, actual slides and movies, but also the projectors and then more books. Now the, the filing, the um, bookshelves is, are, is for sale. There's two like this, super heavy duty solid oak bookshelves. And uh, they are, that's that's a highlight, I, I think, because they're so nice. One last quick peek uh, around the kitchen. Because there is a, a, a nice a, a complement of kitchen items here. And um, you've just got a good assortment of standard household, you know, kitchen, uh, uh, cooking items and uh, serving items. Nice crock pot there and some uh, chafing dishes. And then over here, there, there was still some food left in the house. It's all in date. And your handy dandy uh, household items here. Just a few things in the garage to give you a peek. There's uh, more, more cookware. We put some out here because we couldn't squeeze it all into the kitchen. You've got boxes full of bakeware, boxes full of uh, mason jars, your standard garage uh, chemicals and things. There's a good ladder right there, eight foot uh, fiberglass ladder. And then the last big item that was in the auction, uh, this is a single solid piece four door cabinet in beautiful cherry antique that's a really handsome piece and it's out here in the garage okay i'm going to stop there folks so again this is the uh january 24th 25th sale it's right off dean hill drive is not two miles from west town mall very convenient here in west knoxville and if you are um uh, wanting to come you'll need to get an appointment and you'll be able to do that online starting sunday the 19th see y'all soon